hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be telling you practical ways honest realistic ways that i am able to save money being that i am not a very disciplined person okay if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that i always say this i am not a very disciplined person when it comes to saving money or when it comes to some other things in my life okay so i try to put some things in place and i try to do some things to help me save money okay i'm going to be discussing that in today's video but first of all this video is sponsored by me <laughs> you guys my merch is finally available for purchase um i've had my merch for a very long time now i came out with three designs of t-shirts that mean a lot to me i have been wearing these t-shirts for the longest time now this merch has been out for a very long time so i've been wearing these t-shirts for the longest time okay i have tested the quality i have tested the fit and also the quality of the printing and the look of everything so i am satisfied with how this match is and that is why i am ready to actually just put it out there for you guys to purchase so the three designs that i have is one is this one one is maximum grace minimum effort okay maximum grace minimum effort and then the next one is yummy mommy so, so i have the yummy mommy and i also have I was made for the soft life okay yes so um, let me just briefly give you guys the idea or the thoughts behind these three designs so the first one is maximum grace and minimum effort uh, on top of the grace you can see a small crown so grace here means first of all the grace of God the grace of God that has been keeping me and has been you know helping me in different areas of my life that is the first meaning of grace there and then the second meaning of grace there is courage poise you know how you treat others how you you know just that aura that regal aura of grace with which you carry yourself and how you treat others that's the second meaning of grace in this maximum grace that's why i put a crown there and again my name is adeze which means princess so i had to just incorporate all that into this design okay so i'm a princess so i'm a queen so the crown there is just to represent you know the grace of god that has been keeping me and you know helping me in this life and also to depict royalty okay yes yeah, so maximum grace minimum effort you guys this year and you know for the rest of my life i want minimum effort for maximum grace now minimum effort does not mean no effort okay it doesn't mean that you'll just be there lazy and you know things will be coming and working out well for you no minimum effort means that if it's if it would take me one step eh? <laughs> if it would take me one step to go a thousand miles right then i'm going to take one step instead of me to take one thousand steps i'm going to take one step and i'm still going to get to a thousand miles does that make sense so basically it doesn't mean that i'm not going to put in effort in what i do but the least amount of effort will give me the most amount of results okay because i have the backing of god so does that make sense yes that's basically my thought process and that is why i came out with this design i also love the, the pink so it comes in three different colors it comes in black green and pink emerald green and then like would i call that pink almost like blush dusty dusty rose kind of color so the second design is yummy mommy because i'm a yummy mommy i'm a mom i have three daughters and i am still yummy okay i am still yummy yummy now yummy forever that is who i am and who i am going to always be okay so that's why just it's just simple it's a simple design but it embodies who i am i love being a mom i love being a mommy like if, if you don't know that by this time then i don't know how you've been watching my videos but <laughs> except you're new to my channel yeah that's when you can say you don't know but i actually love being a mom i love everything about motherhood so that is why i have that t-shirt that says yummy mommy okay because i am yummy and i am a mommy which i absolutely love okay and then the third design is i was made for the soft life it kind of ties into this maximum grace minimum effort you know design as well because to be honest i don't like stress i don't like headache what i consider stressful and what i consider headache okay I don't like it now i might be doing some things that some other people might see as a lot of stress that's for them for me it is not stress for me it is joy for me it is happiness the same way i see what some other people call enjoyment and i'm like how is this enjoyment you are suffering yourself <laughs> you know so it is 
open for interpretation, okay? What, what soft life means to you might be different from what it means to me. But whatever soft life means to you, then that is what you are made for, right? So I am made for my own version of soft life, which entails not, you know, having issues, no wahala, I don't like stress, I don't like beef, I don't like fights, you know. I just like living a very peaceful life, a happy life, okay, having money to do what I want to do when I want to do it, okay, having my needs met, having a husband that loves me and, you know, treats me like a queen, having kids that are doing so well and love me and treat me like a queen as well. Like, that's just the life I want. I don't want so far head life. <laughs> Okay, and aside me saying that that is what my life is, it is also a prayer of sorts, okay? It's also me saying I was made for the soft life, so things have to align for me, things have to go softly for me, things have to go smoothly for me, okay? That is what it is as well. It's not just a declaration, it is also a prayer, okay? So that is it about, you know, the designs. Yes, it is available for purchase right now. It's actually a limited quantity because I have been selling a lot of it offline okay <laughs> in fact i sold more than half of it offline so um the, what i have right now the inventory i have right now is quite limited so please go into my dms now and just make your purchase let me know in my just send me a dm and i'll you know respond from there my dms are open now if you want this merch if you want any of the designs or if you want all of them just let me know and i'll get it across to you okay now let us go into today's video how am i able to save money as someone who lacks discipline okay now the first way i am able to save money as someone who lacks discipline. I need to add that someone who lacks discipline because the truth is that if you have discipline, you don't even need this video. If you have discipline, then it's going to be easy for you. But a lot of us don't have, not even a lot of us, but me, I know I don't have, Sha. And yeah, I know some of you can relate. So one of the first ways is I save before I spend, okay? I, I don't trust myself to just spend what I need and save the rest. Eh, eh, I don't trust myself at all. I'm not even going to pretend like, oh, I, I know how, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna finish everything in my account if it remains in my account, okay? So what I do is, I save before I spend. So the ways that I do this is one, I do a job, I do two different a job, okay? I do a job, for me, I love doing a job, but I like doing a job where I collect early okay i like collecting early having my money in my account and then saving for the rest of the year i don't like collecting late okay so i do adjust so once my monthly allowance comes because my husband gives me an allowance once my monthly allowance comes or once i you know get my monthly basically monthly allowance yeah <laughs> once my monthly allowance comes i just remove the money for my two different adjust and you know and i know that okay i have saved this month then the rest of the money in my account is to spend either on myself or the house money, basically. Yeah, house money is even different. I'm talking about my own personal allowance now. Once, because my husband sends me my allowance with the monthly house money. So once he sends me, I just ship out my own allowance, okay? Now, how do I still have money to spend on myself even after I have, you know, shipped out my allowance? That is where my youtube and my instagram comes in okay so once in a while i get jobs on instagram and sometimes on youtube and i am paid in naira now the money i make in dollars i don't usually spend it because it comes in dollars so for me to go and change that money it means that it means that there's something urgent for me to do like it's not like i don't spend the money at all though. sometimes i do spend the money but it must be something very important maybe i want to give somebody money or you know basically i want to give somebody money or there's something important i want to buy that is when i either spend my dollars either using my dollar card or i you know um, sell the dollar to somebody and i you know get the naira but in majority of the cases i don't i try not to spend it even though i do spend but i try not to so for my dollar it's very easy to save dollar yeah but for my naira hmm once my Naira comes into my account, especially for maybe Instagram jobs or even YouTube jobs, if I, if it comes in Naira ahead, then it's from there that I now do things I want to do. So either the, what I want to spend that month or, you know, if I have something I wanted to do since and I've been waiting, once that Naira comes, I now use it to do what I want to do, okay? But if for some reason or if I don't have anything major I want to use money for at that time and I get a job and I get paid for it in Naira, I usually just put that money in piggy vest 
and I just save it in piggy vest, okay? So there are two ways I save Naira, actually. One is in piggy vest and one is with my husband. So my husband does some investments and all that stuff, like it's, it's related to his office and, you know, his job and stuff like that. So he has some investments that he does that is kind of tied to his job. Like all these, they are cooperative, you know, you know how all these companies have something that they do that's for investment, right? So what I do is, if, for instance, I know that, okay, in May, I need to do some sort of thing with money. Maybe I'm traveling or I'm giving somebody money or I promise somebody money or there's a project I want to do in May. If I get paid in April or in February, if I get paid Naira, I take that money and keep it in piggy vest because I know that I'm going to use it in May, okay? But if it is maybe money that I'm not really sure what I want to use it for. I don't really have anything in the future that I that is urgent that I need to need that I need to use that money for. I give it to my husband. Okay, so I have some naira with my husband that I'm saving. So yeah, at the end of the year, once he gets his interest on his savings, he just calculates my own interest and he pays me. But most times I just roll over, so I just add it to the money that is there. That is the interest. I really have, I don't, have I ever collected that interest? I think I collected it once. So one time that the thing was hooking me, I collected the the interest. But most times I just roll over the interest and just continue investing with him, okay? While I still have my piggy vest that I use for short-term savings. So my husband is long-term saving, piggy vest is short-term savings. So yeah, that's basically the first way that I'm able to save money. Yeah, I remove that willpower from myself. Like, I don't want to have to have the willpower to, to, to save or to control anything. No, I don't want to control anything, okay? So the moment the money is hitting my account, again, with a jaw, I don't have a choice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a choice with adjust. So that one is the moment the money comes, I'm sending it out, right? With my husband's own, because I know that, okay, I have a target and all of that, I just send that one out to my husband. Then with piggy vest, because I also have a project coming up and all of that, I just put it in piggy vest. So it is not in my accounts, just there, hoping that I have sense to keep it there. No, I know I don't get to. I'm not even deceiving myself when it comes to that, okay? Now, the next way that I actually save money is to try and delay gratification. Try is the, is the, is the watch word here because... <laughs> Like I said, I don't have that discipline. So I'm not going to pretend like, oh, I know how to wait till when I eventually, no, 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 I don't know how to wait. Like I, I'm very, once I have money to do what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and do it. That's how I am on a normal day. Like, if, except I don't have that money. If I have the money and I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I don't know how to wait till whenever. Cause again, with the way the economy is safe, that's how you be waiting. Your money, your naira, especially if you have naira, you're waiting for, you know, a specific time to do a certain thing while you have that money now that money by the time you want to do it that thing is now two times more expensive than you want than how much it was when you wanted to do it initially okay so for me if i have to do something or if i want to do something and i get the money i do it immediately however there's a way that i actually delay gratification and that is by planning okay so for instance if i want to let's say i want to decorate this my office now right I'm decorating this my office now. I don't just impulsively just go and start buying pieces up and down like, oh, I need this chair, I need this table, I need this book, I need this. No, I don't just go and start buying it like that because I know that I want to decorate this office. So I just wait and I start saving, I start planning. So I plan, okay, this is this type of chair I want, this type of, you know, table I want, this type of thing I want. I plan it, plan it, plan it in my head. Then that way, that planning process actually delays. Does that make sense? <laughs> The planning process helps me to delay just buying impulsively because most times if you buy impulsively, you might even buy the wrong things or you waste money on things that you might eventually not need, okay? So when I start planning and, you know, romanticizing that my plan in my head, for instance, I want to, we're going to paint this house real soon, okay? I did not just go out, I didn't, I didn't just go and call a painter and just say, okay, I need to paint here, paint, no, no, no. I'm planning the colors, I'm planning the decor that I want to do afterwards. So while I'm planning that, while we're, we're still waiting for the morning, I'm able to just put off spending impulsively, okay? Does that make sense? So, even with my kids' clothing and all of that, I know that, okay, I want to buy clothes for my kids or my kids need this. I start planning it in my head, start romanticizing it, start making it bigger than it actually is. By the time I eventually delay, 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 delay in my planning process, I would have gotten enough money or I would have saved enough money to do that thing without, you know, breaking the bank or making mistakes, okay? Then, related to this is the last way I'm able to save money is by window shopping, okay? You guys, I window shop a lot, not just in person, but online, okay? I window shop a lot. What I mean by window shopping? Now, let's say I'm just free and I'm, I don't have much to do myself and I don't really have money, especially when I don't have money. 
I can just go to a store now, walk around that store, you know, look at the prices of things, look at what they have available and stuff like that. That mere act of doing it somehow, I feel like it gives me that gratification that I get when I purchase something, okay? I don't know if it works for other people that way. But for me, when I window shop, my husband hates window shopping it. To him, it does not make any sense. Absolutely no sense whatsoever. To him, it's like, when you have the money, go and buy the thing. Which one is you want to go and window shop? But me, it's an event for me. I can window shop. I'm not buying one thing. You know? And again, I don't even feel ashamed going to a shop to window shop and go and leave in the shop without buying anything. Like, I don't, I don't know. Some people feel bad about it. Me, I don't feel, I don't, like, is it by force? Are you in my pocket? Is, uh, is it by force? Except you're saying that I can, I must enter your shop and I must pay, I must spend money. If I can, if I don't have to spend money, I won't spend it, okay? So, I'll enter the shop or go around. Surely when I know I don't have money. Surely expensive shops and I know I don't have the money. <laughs> I'll go around, check out, you know, different nice things, you know, just look at things and just admire those things. And then I leave the shop. Somehow, that whole activity makes me feel like I have, I have spent money doing something, Okay. I also do it on Amazon and on AliExpress, okay? So, sometimes I realize that I spend money when I'm feeling a type of way, like, let me not say when I'm emotionally down, somehow it's, it's tied to my emotion somehow, the way I spend money. So, what I do is when I'm in that mood, I go to Amazon, I go to um, AliExpress, and on these two sites, I use my dollar card to buy, right? And because I use my dollar card, I don't leave money. My dollar card is tied to a different dollar account, not my YouTube dollar account, okay? So for me to be able to use my dollar card, I need to transfer money from my um, YouTube dollar to that bank. First of all, I'm going to incur some charges and it's a long process, okay? Transferring money and it takes a few days before it even lands. So it's very stressful, okay? So I usually don't have money in my dollar card just sitting waiting for me to spend it. No, my dollar card is usually next to empty. I just have a few dollars here to pay for my monthly subscriptions like my Epidemic Sound and some of these apps that I use. Uh -huh. I just have some few dollars there to pay for those ones. But the major spending dollars, I don't have them in my dollar card. So I go on AliExpress, I go on Amazon, I see nice things, I just add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Any nice thing I see, I'm just adding, 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 adding. After I've added all those things, I will now close the cart and I will waka come out. <laughs> okay? I'll close the cart and that's it. Like, I don't, I'm not, I didn't buy anything there. I add all, all kinds of things though. Like, anything I just see that is not, I add. Anything I say that is not, I add. Now, over time, anytime I feel like ah, purchasing something, I go back there, I remove some things, I add some things. So I do this over time. Then eventually, when I now have a proper, proper need, maybe now I now need maybe a gadget that I need for filming or maybe my, let's just, let's just say I want to buy a lens or I want to buy a memory card or something I need for filming. That is when I now go back to that cart. By that time, eh, half of the things there, I don't need them again. I don't really want them. I don't even know why I even added them. I remove all those things. Now, the important things that I needed, or I've needed all this while that has been there, I now buy those ones with the urgent need that I have, okay? So, yeah, it even happens, I even do it on Shein sometimes. Like, I might need, I might just go to Shein now and just be adding clothes to carts, adding clothes to carts. I'm not about to buy them. But when, let's say now, I'm going on a trip and I need maybe swimwear, or I'm going somewhere and I need this particular item, I'll now go to that Shein cart, now remove all the unnecessary things there, now buy the ones that are necessary and buy some of the things I've been saving in the cart as well, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, so basically that's the way how, that's how I save money. Like, I don't know if it's practical for everybody, but for me, yo, that's the only way I'm able to save money. I just remove the control from myself. I try not to pretend like I know how to how to save money like by you know I I, I have hundred naira in my account so I'll spend only fifty I won't spend the other fifty it's a lie me the minimum me I will spend down to the last zero cobble okay <laughs> but yeah that's it let me know in the comment section how you guys are able to save money let me know if you know things like this work for you and if you have other tips that you can let us know let me know in the comment section and that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching remember my merch is available right now so just send me a dm and you know tell me your size and how many you want and all of that and we will send it across to you okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys